Okay, so you can see since the last tutorial, I swapped out our box for a uh, sphere, and that's all that's changed. Um, I got a question um, from uh, someone on YouTube a while ago that asked to see uh, this technique with using in environment maps, um, because this does doing it this way it does not work with the environment map. And, and to show you that. Um, Okay, so what I did is I brought in, and I'm going to open up my material manager, and you'll see that I brought in a picture, which is an HDR image, and I got it from hdrmill.com, and uh, they have a few free downloads, and I just downloaded it for uh, this tutorial, but this is where I got it from, and you can get it right here. I have the uh, sunny Reno suburb. So, um, you know, feel free to download that and follow along. So I just drug that picture into my scene, and it appeared here. And so what I need to do is I need to add this as an environment map. So first thing is we need to open up our render manager. And we need to add an environment map under Pass Shaders. And we're just going to add environment. Okay, and it opens up this box. And then we need to click and we need to select our new environment map. This right here will show that um, it will be displayed in the background when you do uh, render. <clears throat> Uh, reflections is you can control the amount of uh, this environment casting reflections onto your object. Uh, you can turn it down or up. Typically this stays at one. The image is actually controlling the the, the level of brightness if you will of the um, um, intensity of the background. So obviously the higher the number, and you can go past one by clicking here and type in a new number like two, uh, the higher the number, you will uh, have a, a brighter effect on your object. Uh, like I said, background, we want to leave it one for right now so that we can see what we're doing. And that's all that we need to do to set up our environment map. And since we're using an environment map, we can click our... 2D background color and we can remove that. And now you'll see that our scene is re-rendered and we can see that, but we can see where the issue is coming in. The um, problem is the material is displaying its own background which is set to black right now. So we need to click in our matte shadow and in the last tutorial I had you delete it uh, because it wasn't, ne wasn't necessary at the time. But we need to actually add back in our Fong. And we'll go to Nodes, Illumination, Fong. We're going to run this Fong out into the background of our matte shadow. So we want to select Fong now. Click our transparency reflection options and all we need to do is click invert under transparency and you'll see that it made the material appear transparent so if we close this minimize that and we do a refresh There you can see we're still getting our shadows and our reflections, but our environment map is still being shown through. So in this particular in instance, we don't want reflections. So we will go in here and turn off reflections. And because we're using an environment map, we can go into the material that we have applied to our sphere and we will invert the I'm sorry not the transparency the reflection and turn that down some maybe to 0.4 so that we can still see some color it's not going to be pure reflections 
And if we re-render that, we can now see that our ball is catching shadows from our light and displaying them. Our reflections are gone, and now our ball has is reflecting the entire environment map. Now, something to keep in mind is you will need to use a light, at least one light, uh, when using an environment map uh, for lighting uh, purposes because you still need something to cast the shadows. Uh, and that's what adding our light box did. It gives a source to cast the uh, shadows. So what you'll typically do is put a light in the scene, and especially if it's sun, uh, you'll want to either rotate your environment map, which if we open Render Manager up and double click on environment, then right here you can transform R for rotation, and it just takes uh, playing around with it, uh, changing these different ones. Uh, typically Y, I believe, will rotate it in the proper fashion. So let's give that a test. And yes. So it just spun the scene around. So basically what you want to do is either rotate your environment map to match where you have placed your light box, which is kind of a second option to taking your light box and moving it to where the light is coming from. And if you have a few uh, lights in the scene that are actually causing shadows that should cause shadows uh, maybe a couple spotlights on a character or something uh, then you would need to uh, add more than one light typically one light and a good environment map will get you to where you need to be uh, lighting wise so if you enjoyed this tutorial like always uh, leave a comment and thanks for continuing to watch